We're tracking a developing story from the streets right now. A police chase has ended in a crash. Now you can see the heavily damaged SUV, which mounted the curb and ran into a trash bin. Police say they received multiple calls from witnesses who say three masked men got out of a car armed with guns. Several shots were reportedly fired and the men fled the scene. Niggas, they were talking that shit. Pull up and you know I spark it. All right, what is up, everybody? This is the story of Casper and K Money, two brothers that were rising up super quickly in the underground rap scene, getting millions of streams. Now, if you don't know who they are, that's okay, because this story is wild. Just while one of their most viral songs ever was doing numbers on YouTube, getting 11 million views, these brothers were high off Zannies in a rental van, wearing ski masks, plotting to shoot up a rival neighborhood. This shit led to an insane police chase that did hundreds of thousands of dollars of property damage, and it was all caught on tape. Somebody tried to run from the police, I think. Four men are facing nearly 100 charges after gunshots were fired randomly in the Regent Park neighborhood Monday afternoon. And eventually taking aim directly at police with their vehicle. Now, we're gonna get into all this, but before we do, check out my song of the day. This is Young Poe, let's go. Yeah, 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 smoking pressure. Count money, right. fucking hoes, ducking 12, yeah. same shit, you know how it goes. Look out for ops, yeah. we get the drop, but gain them, it's a go. I get it, then I flip it, I ran out, I need another yeah. load. Trap yeah. doing numbers, I get paper with my eyes closed. Yeah. He act like he won't smoke, but the truth be told, he mad up by the yeah. hoe. I blistered, yeah. then I sent the back to do, then he ain't even know. Uh, uh, it's just the love vibe, and we be sliding out. Uh, and you nigga really kept his head, yeah, they behind us. All right, in order to understand this story, we got to travel to the north. And yes, I'm talking about Toronto. I'm talking about Canada, where they pull up with the hockey sticks. And before my comment section turns into a battle between Canada and the US, just know that nobody cares. Really, nobody cares. Now, K Money is a rapper from a place in downtown Toronto called Alexandra Park. He and his brother Casper have been blowing up the rap scene for years, right? Their songs play at Raptors games, hockey games. They got pretty huge clout in the city. But unfortunately, they've also been in a perpetual war with a place called Regent Park, not too far away. Now, these two places, Alexandra Park and Regent, have been beefing since about the 90s. And because of this territorial war, there's been executions at the malls, people getting gunned down at recording studios, home invasions. It's even gotten to the point where the Regent Park gang was doing internal cleansings, ordering hits on their own people. But regardless, K Money and his brother Casper, they were trapping to pay for studio time. They were big proponents of living what you rap and rapping about what you live. They got caught up in some charges, some drug trafficking charges, and something to do with the confinement of a female fan against her will. I don't know, nothing was proven in court. But what made tensions even higher was right around this time, 2017, the six god himself, Drake, decided to co-sign a rapper from the opposing gang in Regent Park, and this rapper's name was Smoke Dog. With the rise of Smoke Dog, K Money and Casper had direct competition with a mortal enemy, which just made the beef more intense. Casper would drop a song called All Your Friends Are Dead, which I don't gotta explain that. It was a direct diss towards Smoke Dog and Regent Park. And then a month later, he would drop another song called Burberry Closet, and in the music video, he was wearing Smoke Dog's chain around his neck. See, Smoke Dog had gotten jumped and his chain had gotten snatched just a couple weeks before. After that, there was retaliation, and K Money and Casper's crib was the scene of at least five shootings. You could still see bullet holes on the outside of their house, as well as the front porch of the next door neighbors. Now, just a couple months later, in 2018, the rival rapper Smoke Dog would escalate the feud when he went over to the brother's block to shoot his own music video at their housing complex. This was like super disrespect. And on top of that, the house that K Money and Casper were currently living in had also recently been shot at again. So the brothers had enough of this bullshit. They went to the Regent Park neighborhood in broad daylight to shoot it up as retaliation. They popped some zannies, put on some ski masks, got an all black rental van and headed over to Regent. 
they let off some wild shots into a crowd of people, which triggered an emergency call out to the feds to investigate the scene. Now, somehow the police already had a team of plain clothed detectives not far away. They were investigating the shots when all of a sudden they came across a rented black van with three men wearing ski masks in it. The police went to confront them. The investigators immediately pulled into the van to block the brothers' exit. But the police did not account for the Zanny power which usually makes you mellow as fuck, but somehow turned these brothers into Vin Diesel from Fast and the Furious. K-Money and them hit the acceleration and swerved into oncoming traffic. The chase was on. Now this was some pro driving as they were swerving in and out of lanes, dodging people. They hit a couple taxis and they hit a police car. And at some point they were blocked. Perpendicular traffic was cutting off their escape route. So they said fuck it and drove onto the sidewalk, heading full speed towards pedestrians. Luckily nobody was hit and the brothers managed to hit the curve on the other side where they then left the vehicle and escaped on foot. K-Money and Casper ran into this parking lot with a big fence and they hopped it. They landed in a working construction site. Now the brothers were ducking and dodging cranes and heavy machinery. It was like a zannied out James Bond scene. They eventually got tackled, ragdolled, and arrested. K-Money and Casper were later hit with 97 charges. And we don't know what type of time these guys are going to be serving, but they're not getting out anytime soon. Now allegedly in the court documents, in the minutes after his arrest, K-Money asked an officer to tell the media that the infamous Casper and K-Money were caught. He said something like, I want the clout so I could drop a banger. That's what the police told the courts at his hearing. And sure enough, they've been dropping music ever since, right? They got a bunch of music in the vault. One week after this wild chase unfolded, the rival rapper Smoke Dog was shot and killed outside a club by another local rapper called 21 Neat. But this was completely unrelated to the beef that Smoke Dog had with the two brothers Casper and K Money. This just goes to show how deadly the rap scene in Toronto is and how big of a target you are when you got some clout in the city. But yeah, man, that's it for this video. Let me know in the comments what you want me to cover next. Make sure you subscribe with notifications on, and I will see you in the next one.